We, we are the invasive carp, and we are going to wreak havoc on this river. So I'm here with the St. Croix River Association, and we're in the parade to raise awareness about uh, invasive species. As you may have heard, there have been some found in the river around the Stillwater area. And this particular invasive species can wreak havoc on the ecosystem of the St. Croix. Uh, it's such a special river as well when it comes to the ecosystem. It has about 40 native freshwater mussel species, which is just indicative of how pristine and clean and healthy this river is. The native, the invasive carp would, they, they pretty much eat everything. They definitely and drastically disrupt the ecosystem for the St. Croix. And so we've got to do everything we can to keep them out. And the first step is raising awareness and letting people know that uh, they need to do their part to try to keep the carp out. Well, these are the two I had to, I had to back with a different cloth because the, this was too, too stretchy. So which is your, which is your fa favorite most obnoxious pattern? That's a good question. That's a really good question. This one is really ghastly. Well, these things are, are just, just disaster. They're just you. <laughs> <laughs> oh! -ho! It's getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> the first two prototypes. <laughs> right. That's it, the prototypes. But anyway, thanks so much for your uh, help on this fun project. No Take care. Gotta have your throw thing. Well, my idea was that if you have flying carp, you need a perspective of the carp flying into a boat or over a boat. Because flying carp usually are associated with the river and a boat going down the river. <laughs> well, here's what I think. I think you need to have your banners in the front. You need to have banners on the bimini that talk about the river association. And then have your carp throwers walking along the side and throwing the carp over the top, into the boat. Oh, okay, so wait, now what is your quote going to be? Well, John is helping save the river. Uh-huh. And he's doing a flying carp float. Oh my goodness. That is awesome. And so we needed a boat for the float, so we're coming out practicing with the boat. Okay. And so I love it. We're looking for flying carp, but we haven't found any yet. <laughs> Do you have any carp throwers? Yeah. How old are your kids? They're uh, Kind of like uh, yeah. the market in yeah, Seattle. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, we've got to go look for a trailer tonight. Jump! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a good one. That's Bill, pretend you're on the jet ski. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. That one flies well. So here's the front. So if you're going to stay back there, right there. So, the, so what is this? The river what? St. Great River Association. Which is? The group in charge with protecting the St. Croix. Um, just helping my mom decorate. He's well, doing all the work though. I'll just take a picture of you by the... Well, that's exactly what this float needed. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Carp look amazing. I know. Jeez. Well done. Huh? Michael Jackson. Very colorful no, carp. <laughs> No, it's gonna be burning. Hot. At least they're not like completely burning. I'm
It was a great, great success. I think it was really fun, and it was a great way to highlight that the invasive carp are a problem and people need to be aware and support efforts to not allow them further up into Minnesota waterways. The impression is that if you looked at the crowd, it was clearly this is a big concern for this area and for all of us that are surrounded by the Mississippi and the St. Croix River. If you want to help, please join the St. Croix River Association, uh, become a member, and become a volunteer. We have plenty of different volunteer projects that need people, and um, spread the word. Tell people, tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell anyone you see near the river about the invasive species problem and about the St. Croix River Association. Thank you. And did, and did we win a prize? Third place!